हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी कैम्बर नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय कैम्बर कैम्बर इज द क्रॉस स्लोप प्रोवाइडेड टू द रोड टू ड्रेन ऑफ सरफेस वाटर फ्रॉम द पेवमेंट टू द ड्रेनेज सिस्टम नाउ यू ऑल हैड सीन दैट इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ रोड इज लाइक दिस now why we made the cross section of the road just like a parabola to drain off the water which is coming over the surface of the pavement that's why we are generally made the top surface of the pavement just like a parabola or just like a straight triangle shape like this so camber is generally provided to drain off the surface water from the pavement and it is provided by raising the middle of the road surface it means that if we raise the middle of the road surface just like this then this profile is known as camber which is the cross slope now we have generally three types of camber that is the straight line camber parabolic camber and the combination camber now straight line camber is shown here this height is indicated by y which is written here the slope is generally 1 in n which is shown here and overall width is shown here that is w now if we want to compute the value of y then it will be equals to w by 2n now for parabolic camber this distance is y and slope is 1 in n which is written here and the overall width is w which is written here so we can compute the value of y which will be equals to 2x square upon n w and that is the profile of combination camber in the starting straight line camber is provided just like this and in the middle portion parabolic camber is provided so it is a combination camber now note is written here that is straight line camber is preferred for cement concrete pavement because camber is very less in case of rigid pavement provide less camber straight line camber is the best profile so to provide very less camber in a rigid pavement the straight line camber is the best profile that's why straight line camber is generally preferred for cement concrete pavement now for high speed vehicle movement parabolic camber is preferred because central portion is flat now in parabolic camber central portion is generally flat that's why it is generally preferred for high speed vehicle movement now combination camber is generally used for express highways now if we want to determine the gradient then it will be equals to two times of camber now we have the camber as per indian road congress for heavy rainfall area and for light rainfall area now in the first column pavement is written and here heavy rainfall area and light rainfall area is written now for cement concrete or high bituminous pavement in case of heavy rainfall area the camber is 2% and for light rainfall area the camber is 1.7% now for thin bituminous pavement in case of heavy rainfall area the camber is 2.5% and for light rainfall area the camber is 2% for water bound macadam in case of heavy rainfall area camber is 3% and for light rainfall area the camber is 2.5% now for earth road in case of heavy rainfall area the camber is 4% and for light rainfall area the camber is 3% that is all about the camber thank you very much students